Hello, my name is Phil Tenalia, and I want to show you my hassle-free approach to help you improve school performance and transform classrooms. So for starters, I want to go over quickly the research behind the effective school indicators. And here they are. Effective school indicators start with student achievement, right? We want our students learning all they can. Also, you want to keep those attendance rates up. You need to have our learners in school so they can be all that they can be. At the same time, you want to be able to decrease those discipline referrals. Now, how many of you out there are struggling with doing, trying to do just that, including improving attendance at the same time, right? Another thing is graduation rates. We want our learners coming in and leaving with the skills that they need, not just to be effective in school, but in life. And last but not least, teacher satisfaction is really important. In high-performing schools, in effective schools, teachers feel acknowledged and respected, and they're buying in, and they're doing all they can to try to make a difference every day, which is what they come to school to do anyhow. Now, the way most schools and districts go about trying to get at these key indicators is by doing things like gathering lots of data, setting lots of standards, getting staff to be more accountable, micromanaging, and of course, the ever popular testing. Now, all of that stuff serves a purpose and a function and we need it. But at the end of the day, when we're trying to manage all of that stuff and get at all those indicators and keep all of those things going, well, it certainly can feel, well, like you're spinning a lot of plates. And I know I've been in education many years, people around me, people I consult with and train with, they consistently say things like, I'm feeling confused. I am really frustrated. Or they're just completely overwhelmed. They don't have enough time in the day to get to the things they want to do. Uh, they feel like they're not serving the students well. All of that, right? And we've all experienced some of that at some point or another. And no one likes to go to work every day feeling that way. So what I have come up with is a process that in my professional experience, I've discovered that by focusing on one factor, right, by getting at one process, you can actually target all of those key school indicators. And you don't have to go around trying to spin all these plates while you're doing it. And I've worked with these other people and they have used the process and they come back and tell me that it works great, that it has a great impact on learning, it has a great impact on how they manage themselves and how they organize their efforts during the day all the way up to the higher levels of administration. And so from my point of view, the way that you wanna improve school performance is by building a climate and a culture that includes a shared purpose and collaboration. Those are the two things that we really wanna highlight and that my process highlights. And we don't talk about it, we actually do it. I lead everyone into the experience of collaboration and shared purpose. I don't describe it, I do it. I do it with people and then they learn how to do it on their own. And by focusing on process, you can get to all that content stuff much easier with less stress and more satisfaction. So what I do is I train staff and students in this approach and they say it works very nicely to help them get where they want to go. So what I would invite you to do is down below, there's a link that you can click, which will take you to my free PDF about how to use this process with difficult and challenging students. And I know you got some of them out there. So I would say to take it and try it out. It's going to give you a little bit of a taste as to what the process is. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions that you might have. And best of luck to you and those you serve.